Wonderful good morning here from London Heathrow uh, and today is going to be quite a special episode because I've been invited behind the scenes of Europe's busiest airport so today we get the chance to see how everything works how they operate what the daily routine is like here so they said they're going to take me to places nobody else can go so I'm very excited to share this with you and I think today is going to be quite a special episode so let's do this I'm Josh, nice to meet you. Hi, yeah. um, If you had like the 747 that's just landed over there, mm -hmm. followed by an A320, mm -hmm. anywhere in the world that would be five miles. That is the minimum you could do between those. Here you can do four miles. And if you add that up over an hour, it doesn't sound very much, but if you add it up over an hour with 45 aircraft, mm -hmm. you know, that's an extra four landings or something, which is quite a big difference because everyone's speed over the ground, relative to the ground, is slower. So if you could land 44 planes in no wind, if there was a strong wind, you would still have the same spacing between them, but the time it takes them to land, you'd probably only land about 36 aircraft, say, so you lose about eight landings an hour hence. Where's an anchor, you have one seat. So and this was a very exclusive tour of the tower here at London Heathrow and that was pretty impressive. And I was impressed actually how quiet the operation is and I was expecting like 40, 50 people up there operating uh, the whole and navigating the whole traffic but it is actually just a handful of people, they're super calm, they seem to be knowing what they do which is incredible so it was really nice to actually see that. And they have about 88 movements per hour so landings and takeoff which is incredible and the view from up there was just amazing so um, yeah if you ever wondered how your airplane is navigated uh, that's how it works so it's like some really professional people up there they're very relaxed they're very calm they know exactly what they're doing so you are in good hands so next up we're gonna go to a rooftop where we're gonna have just as amazing views so our little tour of behind the scenes in London Heathrow just continues. So and this is what Terminal 2 looks like from above. So next is we're gonna go up the rooftop of Terminal 2. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this was Terminal 1. Terminal 1 is not being used at the moment. Um, but I was told that the police, for example, they do exercises there. Um, like for any kind of scenarios what could have happened and um, also there was a scouting a location scout foodie because they have a couple of scenes that are be filmed at the airport so it's the perfect 
stage actually. Um, so yeah, if you want to make a movie uh, and it includes terminal or airport scenes, give Heathrow a call, they might kind of land you terminal one. So you have this amazing view here from Terminal 2, right on the rooftop, as you can see. The Lufthansa bird taking off, having my favorite airline in the world, Malaysia Airlines, heading for the runway as well. And Brussels Airlines, Polish, Aer Lingus. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. And Qantas, this is Qantas Dreamliner. This is the only direct flight between uh, Europe and uh, Australia, so the Dreamliner over there getting ready for like a 17 hour flight back to Australia. And yeah, and it's quite interesting today. I'll be flying out of Terminal 2, I'll be flying Turkish Airlines to Istanbul in order to get on the uh, inaugural of the 78 of Turkish Airlines. But right now, I'm very much uh, enjoying this. Edge walk here. I mean, maybe they should advertise it, uh, London Heathrow, and so people can come up here and uh, get a very unique, one one of a kind experience. And as you can see over there, this is Terminal Four. Probably one of my favorite air, uh, terminals here uh, in uh, here at Heathrow. And then over there, Terminal 5, obviously. So and this was it. This was my day at Heathrow. Um, we went up the ATC Tower, which was incredibly amazing. I, I, I've done it a lot, but I've never been up an ATC Tower and uh, as well as the rooftop of Terminal 2. So I think that was also just as exciting. And I hope you liked this special episode. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think of today and what do you want me to see to cover. Um, there's gonna be a few more videos together uh, with uh, London Heathrow and their social media team. So if there's something in particular you really wanna see behind the scenes here in uh, uh, in Europe's uh, busiest airport, let me know in the comment section below and maybe we can make it happen. So far, thank you for watching, give it a like, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and thank you so much for watching. See you later.